when you become an adult, I think uh, the most important part of it is that you take charge of your own emotions. You realize that your own emotions are generated by your own brain, by your own organism, and they're here to serve you. You're not here to serve your emotions. Your, the emotions are there to help you on doing, for doing the things that you consider to be the right thing. Mm -hmm. And that means that you need to be able con to control them, to have integrity. If you are just the victim of your emotions and not do the things that are the right thing, you learn that you can't control your emotions and deal with them, right? You, you don't have integrity. Right. And what is suffering? Pain is the result of some part of your brain sending a teaching signal to another part of your brain to improve its performance. If the regulation is not correct because you cannot actually regulate that particular thing, then the pain will endure and usually get cranked up until your brain figures it out and turns off the pain signaling center by telling him, actually, you're not helping here, right? Until you get to this point, you have suffering. You have increased pain that you cannot resolve. And so in this sense, suffering is a lack of integrity. The difficulty is only that many beings cannot get to the degree of integrity where they can control the application of learning signals in their brain, where they can control the way the reward function is being computed and distributed. So isn't suffering, then, then according to your argument, suffering is just like you said before, a, a simulation or a part of a simulation then? Right? Well, everything that we experience is a simulation. We are a right. simulation. But to us, of course, it feels real. There right. is no helping around this. But uh, what I have learned in the course of my life is that all of my suffering is the result of not being awake. Once I wake up, I realize what's going on. I realize that I am a mind the relevance of the signals that I perceive is completely up to the mind. Because the universe does not give me objectively good or bad things. The universe gives me a bunch of electrical impulses that manifest on, uh, in my thalamus and my brain makes sense of them by creating a simulated world. And the valence in that simulated world is completely internal. It's completely part of that world. It's not objective. Right. And of so I can control yeah. this. Right, so ethics is, is a subject or suffering is a subjective experience. And if I'm basing my uh, ethics on suffering, therefore my ethics would be subjective. Is that what you're saying? Uh, I, no, I think that uh, suffering is real with respect to the self, but it's not immutable. Sure. So you can ch change the definition of yourself, the things that you identify with. Imagine there is a certain condition in the world where you think a particular party needs to be in power in order for the world to be good. And if that party is not in power, you suffer. You can give up that belief and you realize how politics actually works and that uh, there's a fitness function going on and that people behave according to what they read and whatever. And you realize that this is the case and you just give up on suffering about it because you realize you are looking at a mechanical process and it plays out anyway, regardless of what you feel about how that plays out, right? So you give up that suffering. Or if you are a preschool teacher and the kids are misbehaving and they are mean to you, at some point you stop suffering about this because you see what they actually do. It's right. not personal. 